That's pretty messed up right there. What say, YouTube addictive junkies? What say? Nice to see you guys back here again. Today, I've got another unboxing video for you today. And uh, we're just going to jump right into it. A really big box. I don't know why I need the glasses, but... Uh, oh, sorry about that. Had it right under your feet and you didn't even know it, did you? Well, let me tell you what. Hold on, I'm going to lower that camera a little bit. So you can see more what's going on. I don't know if that helped or not. Maybe you can tell a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, well, I'm going to tell you what this is. I think I know what it is. Well, I'm sure what it is because I recognize the uh, state that it came from. This belongs to a YouTube user. Uh, you know, actually, I don't know if he uses YouTube or not. Honestly, <laughs> he contacted me on YouTube. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad it's not... Uh, peanuts. Paper works good, man. I'm gonna have to. You know, I'll just leave those off until I need them. I think we've got a love letter here. Really big love letter. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Get enough paper out here that I can get the case out. Anyways, I don't know if he uh, actually has a channel on YouTube or not. In fact, he didn't contact me on YouTube. He contacted me through email. But I assume he's probably got a channel or, or watches, watches this channel, one of the two. Oh, wow. Man, i got to rearrange things here sometime. I ain't going to do it right now. I need to move some things around make more room in this corner. If you know what I mean. Let me go to the paper up and get rid of the box. Then I'll bring you back and we'll have a look at that baby. Woo! What a job that was. The boogity ball. All right, here it is. Got it up on the table. And I'm going to come over there and get you. I haven't even looked in it yet. I did read the love letter to make sure. Uh, it says, Randy, care of the house that never sleeps. And I did read it to make sure I could read it to you guys. And I think it's okay. I can't show it to you because it's got his address and phone number and crap on it, and he probably don't want the world to have that. So I'll just read it to you. Anyways, I'm going to get you now, bring you over here, and we're going to have a first-time look at this thing together. So come closer. Hold on. All right, kids. Here it is. The momento of truth. <laughs> I just got the paper picked up and put away, and oh, that's got his... Uh, you don't want to see the back side of that. All right, let's just look at what we came to look at. I saw pictures of this guitar. But this will be the first time of seeing it for me. Of course, I'll have to get it out so you can see it better. But does anyone recognize uh, know what it is before I show you? I'll get it out and we'll go over it and look at it a lot closer. Man, jumbo frets. I like those. All right, here we are. There you go. I can't really hold the camera in that angle. Well, let me, uh, looks like it made the trip really well. See something on the finish right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. All right, let me put the camera up. I'll get you, or put you up and get the guitar out of the case, and we'll look at it. We'll go over it. Hold on. And there's you a better look at it. Simon and Patrick Luthier. Nice looking guitar, man. I think he told me he bought this around 1980, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's look inside. I'll show you. If I can get in there without blocking the light. Stupid camera's focusing on the... There we go. Model number. Model. Mahogany. 1388. And that's what it is, folks. Uh, I would really recommend taking that strap off like that and uh, 
put a uh, let's flop the guitar over here. It's like Grover's. Yes, it is. That's why I needed glasses <laughs> so I can read that kind of stuff. Yeah, it looks like it's in really good shape, man. I see a little bit of a lip right there. We'll check all that out. I can feel that too. It's quite a the surface of the side right there is higher than the surface of the binding. I don't know what's going on there, but we'll check it all out. He wants me to go completely through it. I'll have to get with him and find out for sure exactly what all. Uh, I know he wants it set up, and I think he wanted me to go through it and check everything out. You know, check all the braces and the glue joints and everything about the guitar. And we're not going to do that on this video, but they're coming. <laughs> so, so you've been warned. That is, that's a beautiful axe, man. Really nice. Beauty of a guitar. I was just admiring those jumbo frets, man. Look at that. There's, I love those. I always like playing on jumbo frets. I wanted to look and see, too, how the... What kind of shape they're in. They look to be... They look pretty good. There's the nut, first, second, third. Usually right in here is where you start to see, right in here is where you start to see the most wear. Well, where's that thing? There it is. Yeah, it's not bad at all, man. I can set this guitar up, make it play like butter. And I don't think we're going to have to level the frets. See, unless there's a high fret or some low ones or something funky like that. He said it had some buzzing going on. So that, uh, we'll take the strings off in the next video and get inside of it and see what's going on. I like those keys. I bet those are 18 to ones. So uh, hold on. We might as well check the nut action and the neck relief and all that jazz too because he don't want, I don't think he wants this same setup. He wants it set up. That's what it's here for. But uh, I've got an 8 and a 10 here, I think. Yeah. That's what it is. 18 thousandths. Exactly. That's... It's tighter there. Probably closer to 16 on that end. Okay. Let's check ourselves some relief. Yeah, I'm not going to write this stuff down because I'm going to set the guitar up totally different from what it is right now. I could actually go down with that uh, nut action quite a, quite a lot. And where the truss rod, how far? Okay, truss rod comes down to about right there. It's got one of those braces crossed here. You got to reach through it to adjust it. So I'm going to note, uh, what is that? 14, 15, 16, 17th fret. And we're going to check right there. <laughs> I think that's exactly right, man. You the only way I can see it. That's a little bit more than 12. Neck relief is just a bit more than 12. Well, it's less than 12 here, but that's the way it should be. Probably we'll leave that alone. That seems like it's... Let's just see what that is. I've got a 12 here. It's less than that. Let's try a 10. Here's a 10. It won't even go under there. It does, but it's it's less than ten. Wow, probably didn't want to make it much less than that. Okay, here's an eight. It's tight. Hear that? So there's very little bit of neck relief on this side. Check this upper one one more time. I just want to see how it goes in there. I got the twelve here again, right now. See, that goes under there without lifting the string at all. It's really like a little bit too much neck relief on the base side. And uh, too little of neck relief on the, the 
high, high sides. That's weird. Well, anyways, I'm not, I don't need to record that stuff. I was just curious what it was. So, why not check it, you know? Before we start. Hold on. The guitar's got strings on it, and it sounds like it's in tune. So I figured we might as well see what it sounds like to do a, a before and after. <laughs> I think he wants light gauge strings put on. I don't know what these are, but they're definitely not light. That sounds like it's lower than standard tuning. I'm playing it pretty hard too. Yeah, man, just a beautiful guitar it is. Show it to you under this light. Zyman and Patrick Luthier. They make good guitars. Very good sounding guitars. Very beautiful guitars too. So, uh, the love letter. Let's read the love letter. And really begin the love. Now, like I say, I can't show you this because it's got a lot of his personal stuff on it. So, you just have to take my word for it, what it says. Alright, it says, Dear Randy, love your videos. They are extremely helpful and most of all fun. Here's my Simon and Patrick, my first real guitar. It needs some tender loving care and a full setup. Please take a look to see if anything is out of the ordinary. The saddle popped up a few years ago and was re-glued. Other than that, a little fret buzz recently. It's all good. Other, other than that and a little fret buzz recently, it's all good. I put one set of Martin light strings in the case to put on the guitar. Also is a box of mediums that I don't use anymore. Hope you can find a use for them. Otherwise, let me know your assessment. Thanks, Bob. Well, Bob, thank you. Uh, for the strings, I mean, and, and the business. So, y'all, man, the next video you see on this guitar, we will take the strings off of it and uh, get in there with the mirror. I finally get, to, finally get to try out my new mirror here. Thank you. You know who you are. And we'll get in there with that and look around, check braces, and just check. We'll go through it with a fine-tooth comb. And then, uh, depending on what we run into, maybe we'll set it up on that video or start setting it up. Uh, you know, if we don't run into any other problems. He, don't, he says he don't think it has any other problems. Uh, I don't know. I was looking at that saddle. I was looking at that saddle, and it's very low, man. I mean, if I have to lower the strings anymore, like, let's just see what they are now. If I have to lower the strings anymore, I, uh, I'm not going to be able to without shaving the bridge, I don't think. Wow. Every way but right. The low E at the 12th fret... You know, there's a piece of plastic that covers this thing so it doesn't rust. And the plastic's rolled up. Four, five, six, sixty-fourths it looks like. And five sixty-fourths on the high E at the 12th fret. So there you go. Uh, once we get it set up, we'll have a little bit of play in there to, to com compare it with. If I can talk. I got this sinus thing going on, man. It's just about to kill me. I've been out in the wind all day, and it's really working on me tonight, so forgive me for that, please. <laughs> uh, next video, we'll take the strings off, check the whole guitar. We'll go through it with a fine tooth comb, and uh, see what, if it needs it. If I don't need anything, we'll start setting it up. Thanks for watching. Cheers, and I'll see you soon. 
That's pretty messed up right there.